this whole demonization of technology makes me laugh because it's such an amazing tool to create such opportunity for myself. And it, the same goes for you if you properly use it. It is 1.29 on March 15th, 2019. And I was just listening to Cal Newport on uh, Lewis Howe's podcast. And it was an interesting discussion. And it basically covers minimalism in social media and reducing your social media usage and um, pretty much just demonizing social media is the understanding I got from it. And I thought there was a lot of interesting concepts in there. I did agree with some of it. I didn't agree with other parts of it. Um, coming from, uh, I love Gary Vee's thoughts on this, which is don't put the past on the pedestal and don't demonize technology because this is the future. And people who discard the ways of the future go and make horses when cars are being made type of thing. So that's been very top of mind throughout this discussion. And I thought, uh, I thought there was some interesting points. So on the demonizing technology front, I thought it was really ridiculous when they started talking about um, how Lewis House's dad would read a newspaper while the kids were watching TV and they were like talking about it in such a fond way. And I'm like, this is exactly what you guys are trying not to do, which is consume. That was at least my understanding of the whole discussion was creation over consumption and reduce your consumption because it's according to them being um, developed in a way where social media is supposed to become addicting. And I agree. And at the same time, I don't think they're like bad people for trying to do that. They're a business trying to achieve certain metrics and they genuinely like do think they're doing the right thing by keeping you or not keeping you on the platform you have the ability to leave that's another thing it's like you have the decision at any given point so to try to just put blame is pretty funny for uh your social media use because you can just stop using it but uh going back to that um yeah where's I going with this? <laughs> I don't actually know. Um, but going back to Lewis House's uh, point with the with the newspaper, he his dad was literally just you could have swapped to the newspaper for social media, and then this cut in this discussion, it would have been a bad thing. And it's like that's where I start to lose interest in this discussion about um, about anti-social media when you start to put stupid things like that on a pedestal because what he's doing right there is just not paying attention to his kids, which is exactly what they covered in later discussions in the conversation, saying that that was a bad thing. So it's like, let's pick a fucking side here and uh, stay consistent. And uh, But as for the good stuff, I really appreciated the creation over consumption, um, especially that one point that he just made about we as humans are hardwired to to realize a thought to take a thought and create it in the real world he did say there's something you can't get from a screen and i disagree because i've created code which creates something and i'm like wow it's just the exact same fucking feeling as creating something in the real world because it is part of the real world it's just on the screen so fuck whatever the hell the point was around that because so long as you're creating whatever you want from thought into the world, whether that's in a digital sense or a physical sense, you're still going to get a sense of satisfaction from it. And it's very, very pleasurable and very, very fulfilling. And he was saying that we are wired to be fulfilled like that because, um, actually I don't remember the because, but anyways, I just know that that's absolutely the case. And I've experienced that for such a long time now. And that's why I'm such an advocate of creation over consumption, which is, the idea that you cannot be fulfilled from aimlessly scrolling through your Instagram or consuming a certain movie or TV show. You can, however, get that from creating something from nothing, from work that is meaningful, from realizing, taking a thought that's in your brain and creating it in the real 
universe, the physical world, if you will. Um, these types of things. And it's just a reminder that, and then they also cover this, which is like aimlessly scrolling is the real problem. Like all of the time wasted um, if it's not purposefully used. And that's a, another part of this because like a lot of us are, you not even a lot of us, some of us are using it in a very purposeful way. So for me, I use it for purposeful documentation. I use social in that aspect to document my life and business journey, okay? And that's where like this whole demonization of technology makes me laugh because it's such an amazing tool to create such opportunity for myself. And it, the same goes for you if you properly use it. It's equal to everyone. You just have to be good and provide value. And if you can do those two things and maintain consistency and uh, continue to grow and evolve and improve and blah, 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 I think you can make it. And I think I can make it for that long term as well with this content game. But um, what else did I want to say on that? So yeah, going back to like Gary Vee, I like his, I like his non-demonization approach to that because there is such opportunity if we use it. And if you are in this mindset of trying to shit on the future and trying to shit on technology, you are pretty much shooting yourself in the foot because you are, there's such an opportunity that you are just discarding just because you are romanticizing the past. Like there's such a romantic point of view in the past in this discussion. <laughs> and that, that was, I think, a, a challenge for me as I was listening. I'm like, there is this strange sense, not just limited to this conversation, but just like the conversation in general um, from people, which is the good old days were so good, were they? Like, I love, I love when Gary says, okay, well, you didn't have the black, or you don't have the black plague now, or the Great Depression, or any of these things. Um, we had World War, like, all of these insanely unfortunate things. And we are sitting here being, or uh, sitting here romanticizing about how great the old days were. I'm just not so convinced they were that great. I, for me, I, I've noticed that within myself, I have this cognitive bias to make the scene, past seem like nostalgic. But if I was to go relive the past, I don't think I would like it more. I think I like my present more and more as time goes on. And my future, I think, will I'll enjoy it even more, especially because I'm consciously working on enjoying the present. I think that's a very key part to that. So this whole like looking back thing is very, uh, interesting to me, but I, and I don't subscribe to it necessarily, but I understand why people do do that based on the cognitive biases and stuff like that. So, um, as for work, I do think it's paramount for certain people and certain businesses. So this whole use social media less, I think it's, I think there's a place for it, because, especially because it can distract us so much. And I am one that uses social media. What do I do? I, for the first four hours, typically, I do not go on social media or my phone or texting or anything like that. I just use my phone purely as a tool and I am able to get more work done. I'm able to not have my brain hijacked. I'm able to learn more. Um, all of these amazing benefits and be more focused and not distracted and not reaching for my phone, but instead just like getting some meaningful progress in my day. And I think these are crucial. So to go through your day without something like that, I think is a little bit dangerous. And that's where this whole like deep work, which is what Cal refers to. And he wrote a book about that. I think that's the meaning of all this, I think. So anyways, um, what else do I want to say? So I'm not really sure how I feel about all this. It's it's an ongoing thought and discussion in my brain, but I think you should just pay attention to what you feel in your core is right for you. Deploy self-awareness because I feel like everyone's situation is different with this and to cast a blanket statement of like technology is bad or social media is bad is pretty fucking stupid. So 
be cautious of yourself, pay attention to your situation. Um, use your phone less, I feel like, in an aimless manner, use it in a purposeful manner, and ultimately create more of what you want and use that time more effectively. And uh, trust yourself, trust your intuition, and watch what you create. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching or listening to this. I hope this brought a little bit of value, a little bit of nuggets, and I encourage you to go listen to that podcast as well. And go listen to Gary Vee's viewpoint on it as well. Um, I don't really know. I'll, maybe I'll link up some dis, uh, resources in the description. Anyways, my name is Josh Moxie, and if you enjoyed this, please give it a like rating, a follow, um, what have you. But uh, I will catch you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching and listening.